This is just gonna be like a vlog style type of explainer video and how you do that. <laughs> If you haven't watched the jump rope video where I go and meet Carmine and do all the jump roping and buy a jump rope and he's you know giving me tips and stuff like that as far as speed roping goes, um, go watch that video right now. You'll it'll make sense why you're watch like before you watch this video. It's almost like a prequel to the sequel. I think that's a band. <laughs> so as mentioned in the video before, I didn't really I didn't succeed at doing the plan that I wanted to do, but I still want to use the footage for something. And so this is what I did. It's very similar to the dance video and how I explained how I did the dance video except there's a couple of things that are a little bit different. So the first thing I did was I edited, first I edited edited everything in After Effects. I used the entire clip in After Effects. And what I did was I tracked um, his shirt. On his shirt, there's a yellow square that has the word just jump on it. And it's it helped because it's very contrasting with the, the rest of his shirt. It's bright yellow and then the rest of the shirt is black. And so After Effects didn't really have a hard time tracking it. And so like if there was anything, I just kind of adjusted the keyframe manually. And after I did that, that's when you can see that it kind of just follows the just jump. So the viewer almost feels like you're standing across from him and jumping at the same pace and doing all that kind of stuff. So that was the first thing. The second thing was to the beat of the music, which was this song right here because I can't remember it, but it's this song at the bottom of the screen right now. I used a scale creep, creep, Keyframe. I used a scale keyframe and just scaled it up to the beat of the song and then it, I think it was like two frames per keyframe. So there's three keyframes all together. So let's say I started at a scale of 100, went up to like 115 and then back to 100 and that's a little scale uh, to the beat kind of thing. On top of that, at the same time it scaled up and stuff like that, I used an offset keyframe and what that does is it, it pretty much duplicates your clip and you can blend it with the original clip and that's, I, I put mine at 50% and it, it kind of creates like a, a, almost like a, I don't even know what to call it. I want to say shadow, but it's not a shadow, but it's like a duplicate and it, it, you can offset it, meaning that you can adjust the position of the new frame or the new clip, the duplicated clip. And the last thing that I did, because I used the transform effect to do the scale, um, I used the scale effect on the entire clip itself. So outside of the effect, I, I just had one that kind of just started at the beginning. It was at normal and then it zoomed in kind of closer to him in the middle of the video itself. And then as it went to the end of the clip, that's when it kind of zoomed back out. And what I did with the offset and the scale was I put it at the end of the video and at the beginning because I wanted it, the video to loop almost perfectly. But at the beginning, if, if I were to play it without the offset effect, you could definitely tell that it's not looped perfectly. But if I throw that effect in there, because I've been using it throughout the video, it kind of just flows together. Now, I know that was kind of quick. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video and here's the, the clip one more time. Last but not least, like I said, I, I know I already said comment, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.